All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are here with another drive of FSD supervised 12.3.6. And we've got a route plugged in to go to the Home Depot. Um, so let's get started. So since our last drive, we've been waiting in anticipation for 12.4 to be released. And uh, what we've learned is that 12.4 has been released, but a variant of 12.4, 12.4.1. Uh, so that started rolling out to employees a few days ago. And, um, and so it went out to employees and then it went out to select uh, customers, only a few. And then the rollout actually stopped. Um, and what was noticed, and I think why the rollout stopped, is because there were um, certainly some regressions from 12.3. Um, and some of those were, you know, we, we were seeing a lot of uh, lane indecisiveness with 12.3.6, and we still see that today. Um, but it's it's even worse with 12.4. Um, I don't have 12.4.1, uh, but a buddy of mine does, and uh, I've been on several drives with him with 12.4.1, and the, the, the system does a lot of lane hopping, just left and right, left and right, can't decide which lane it wants to be in. Um, at all. Uh, so that's definitely a regression there that'll be ironed out soon, I'm sure. And uh, as the, the weeks and months progress with uh, with 12.4. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's clearly not ready for prime time yet. Um, and I, so I've sort of stated that on, uh, on X about uh, a week ago or so. And you know, there's a lot of people, I say there's a lot of people, there's a few people that are out there that uh, are saying that 12.4.1 is the best thing since sliced bread, and that's simply inaccurate in my opinion. Um, and these are the same people that uh, are always praising uh, FSD no matter what, and I think that's the wrong approach in terms of feedback. I think that we should be critical of FSD um, so that these things get solved and that uh, the Tesla AI team hears our feedback and sees our feedback and can actually start Con, uh, continuing to work on improving and refining the system. So it's important to give that critical feedback. Um, and that's what we try to do here. All right, so we're well on our way to the Home Depot. And, I, you know, I must say, yeah, I've, I've been using 12.3.6 now for uh, quite some time. And uh, well, certainly, certainly uh, more than, I, I would say this is probably the fifth or sixth week that I've been using it, and it's just been, uh, it's pretty solid. It's consistent. You know what to expect. Um, you know when it's going to do well. You know when it's going to uh, have some quirks and, and what situ situations those quirks are going to pop up in, so you're able to anticipate those um, and, and be able to react. So the consistency is what gives the confidence, um, and certainly 12.3.6 is performing quite well, and it's consistent. You know, one of the things we continue to look forward to with 12.4, with, uh, um, which is wonderful that we're seeing from the, the people that are out there that are testing 12.4.1, is uh, that steering wheel nag going away. And I know I've said it in the last few videos, but um, you know we're seeing uh, we're seeing that with uh, with my my buddy's vehicle, and it works quite well um, to where you know as long as you're looking straight ahead and the in cabin camera is able to detect your eyes. Uh, looking straight ahead, it's a wonderful feature, and it really uh, takes this uh, this driving experience to the next level because you are really the passenger in the car, and you're truly just monitoring what's going on. All right, it's a Saturday morning here uh, in Florida, Tampa, Florida area. Uh, so the uh, traffic's light. We're at uh, just shy of the 10 a.m. hour. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful day for a drive.
Also, those of you who didn't know, you can see uh, when I get the prompt to uh, give some torque on the steering wheel, um, one of the ways, well, there's two, two, two ways that you can satisfy that. You can obviously give a little bit of, uh, you know, input, a little bit of torque on the steering wheel, and the vehicle will sense that, and you'll, you know, that, that prompt will go away. The second way that I've found is um, just by rolling the volume uh, wheel here up one click and then down one click or down one click and up one click and then that'll make that go away as well so um, those are the two type of inputs that I get when I get that prompt um, especially when you're in the middle of a turn it seems to come up quite often um, as the wheel is turning you know you don't want to it's tough to, to give that that input on the steering wheel when it's turning but if you can if you can catch the knob and roll it up once it'll satisfy that notification so just a little tip but of course we won't have to deal with that for much longer once we move over to 12.4 actually saw a post from uh, Chuck Cook up in North Florida and uh, as he said before he's a pilot and he's he, he went to the airport with a cyber truck um, for a couple of days I think upwards of a week I believe it was and uh, he came back to experiencing a lot of phantom drain in a cyber truck after having um, the, the the cabin cabin protection um, with the AC was off and also uh, Sentry mode was off, and there was a certainly a, a tremendous amount of uh, phantom drain. And I'll post here; you can you can kind of read his uh, his post here. Um, but you know, I we, we we saw that some of the earlier days of uh, you know new new Tesla vehicles when they got released, there was a lot of uh, phantom drain going on with the batteries. But you know that ended up getting optimized um, in future updates. So I expect that. That'll be the same case for uh, for Cybertruck. Nothing that software can't fix. Good behavior there. FSD turned on the turn signal early. That was it's kind of a weird intersection there. That was a good good timed indication of what the intentions were of the car, our car. All right, we got a right turn on red here. All right, we just got the green, so it made it easy for us. One of the things we're seeing too with 12.4.1 uh, is that uh, FSD is really staging uh, turns to be far away from the curb, which is great. So, you know, uh, T Tesla's re retrained the system there to be very conscious and mindful and avoid the curbs, um, which is uh, obviously what we want. So this is more of a personal preference thing. I, I wouldn't, so we have another, let's see here, I don't know, roughly two miles to go and the Home Depot is gonna be on the right at the end of the road. And, uh, you know, FSD, we can see here, is set up in this far right-hand lane in preparation, probably to make the right-hand turn um, into the Home Depot. But historically, this, this right lane, for whatever reason, is very slow and gets like stacked up. Um, personal preference I would have been in the center lane um, we would have been all the way up there um, as the light turned green but again that's a personal preference and maybe these types of smaller details get better over time actually what I think it was is when we made the right hand turn just a just a minute ago we made that right hand turn and stayed in the right lane, which is the right behavior. You don't make a right-hand turn and immediately sort of turn into the 
center or left lane in the case back there. You sort of make your right hand turn and stay in the right lane. And then once you complete the turn, then you can sort of merge over into the other lanes. And I think that's what happened here is that my personal preference would have been make your right hand turn into the right lane and then merge over into that center lane, which always flows faster on this road than the right lane does. And again, minor details, that's that's just a personal preference of mine. We're, we're still getting there, um, and we'll still get there fine and in good time. Good, comfortable acceleration after uh, slowing down for that car to make a right. I mean, we're, we're at a point now with 12.3 that, you know, there, there's very little intervention that needs to be made. Um, we haven't had any of this drive, and this is very typical. I'm using um, FSD 12.3.6 every single day on my way to and from work and really any destination that I go and uh, you know there's not a lot of interventions that I'm having at this point um, and if I do it's just because um, it's just because of a personal preference thing that you know hey I think the, the car should be going a little bit faster or I don't want to wait for it to do an unprotected left I can I can perform it a little bit faster than the car can um, but most of the times I'm letting it go ahead and do its thing um, and there's not really certainly no interventions that I'm doing because of safety because I feel at risk that the car is doing something or it's about to do something that it shouldn't do um, which is great all right we're pulling into the Home Depot and uh, easy drive for FSD looks like it's going to take us right to the front door here Our nits to stop here in the parking lot. All right, watch how close we get to the curb, no problem. And this would be wonderful if FSD would just go ahead and find a parking spot, just as a human would, the closest parking spot nearest to the uh, to the business, nearest to the door, and uh, go ahead and park. But that's something that we'll get in the future. All right, we're. Uh, Slowing down and yielding for the pedestrian here. He gives us a wave. He's actually giving <laughs> FSD a wave, not me, because I'm not doing anything. Um, but we're slowly creeping up forward, and uh, this is the end of the drive. And there's a there's a guy behind us that doesn't know what we're doing because he's walking up here, um, and FSD is just sort of slowly cruising. All right, so I'm going to end it here. It took us right to the front door of the Home Depot. It did the right thing. There were no no interventions, no disengagements on that trip. Exactly what we want to see. All right, so we'll see you on, on the next drive, and hopefully by then we'll have uh, some variant of 12.4. That's what we hope. See you here.